My name is Emily Gonzalez. I lead a group of girls. We are going to start reading Philippians. So this is a letter written by Paul while he is in prison. And as I was reading in the notes in my Bible, it stated that this is Paul's joy letter, which is interesting um, because it seems to be in direct contrast to his current situation. Um, it also mentioned that the concept of joy and rejoicing is mentioned um, 16 times in this book. So. Um, he is writing to a group of people who encouraged him and spurred him on in his faith. And that is what we get to do every week when we get together. We get to encourage each other to keep seeking Jesus. Um, as I was reading chapter one, which is what we'll be focusing on um, this week, I was struck by verses nine and 10, um, which is a prayer that Paul prays over his friends. And it reads, I continue to pray for your love to grow and increase beyond measure, bringing you into rich revelation of spiritual insight in all things. This will enable you to choose the most excellent way of all, becoming pure without offense until the unveiling of Christ. And I think this is especially significant during this time that we're all living in. Um, and it's a great prayer for us to pray over ourselves and over each other. Um, also in my Bible notes, it mentioned that um, happiness depends on uh, happenings, but joy depends on Christ. So let's lean into Christ and let him bring and be our joy.